I had a very dysfunctional life, bad uh, relationship choices where I was in domestic violence, I had a drug addiction and I also was a single mother to four children. A lot of alcohol abuse in this town, drugs are pretty rife so I mean, I've seen that where I've come from. It's not a good thing to be in, so I like to get out of that. And I don't like to see other people go into that. Didn't have the best upbringing. Um, but yeah, because at the moment I pretty much raised my two younger brothers. Growing up in a, a community where there's a high amount, high number of Indigenous people, you know, there is an element of shame and I think it's, I think the notion of shame is just, just embarrassment and, and not having the confidence to really go out there and, and you know, chase your dreams. It's something, that I, it's something that holds a lot of kids back, really. It's, it's, it's rife, you know, it's just a part of the, it's become a part of the culture. We're grown up with shame, like from the day I was born. Having to act a certain way and all this kind of stuff so people don't judge you and stereotype you with the rest. Aboriginals need to stand together um, work with each other, try and find strength within each other. Shame is a thing that we, sh we have to get over in our life because shame won't get us anywhere. You know, we've got to get strength within our community so that we can develop further in our life. Education is important to me way back when I was little. My parents drilled it into me because they didn't graduate and just education's everything. You're always learning, you always need it. I moved to Port Hedland, got into a program called Follow the Dream, where we did like homework classes after school, get the teachers in, help us with all our homework. So the support of BHP Billiton has been critical in making a difference to the kids that are in the Follow the Dream program. Probably being like a train driver is my biggest dream. It's very easy to give um, financial support and just sort of leave it at that. Uh, but the partnership between the school, BHP Billet 9 or Poly Farmer Foundation and the students and their parents um, makes it work. Uh, the Follow the Dream program is really important for young Indigenous um, kids around the Pilbara area um, because they provide opportunities that you wouldn't get uh, if you weren't in the program. So I was uh, provided a scholarship the BHP Billiton um, Iron Ore Indigenous Scholarship. So I had financial assistance with them for obviously relocating and living in Perth, which isn't my, my hometown. The, the scholarship provided a lot of support which I needed and it was focused towards life after university. The fact that I've come through and now I'm working with BHP Billiton means that hopefully the, the, the journey is a successful one and it can provide opportunities for, for other Indigenous Australians looking forward. I'm currently at UWA with, in an undergraduate spot at doing sports science and exercise health. Um, BHP Billiton's um, provided me with a scholarship uh, to live at one of the colleges which is right across the road. The reason why I came to work with BHP Billiton, I grew up in the town. Um, driving past those big gates as I was growing up, it was always, you know, it was always there. So I always wonder what was on the other side of the, of the fence. And fortunately, through an entry level, I got the opportunity. I applied for a, a mine sampler job, um, and it was an Indigenous employ employment opportunity with BHP Billiton. Um, didn't know whether I was going to get a call or not, and I got the call. And, and they were like, when can you come in? I was like, when do you want me to come in? I wasn't too sure what I wanted to do after school, so I looked into different programs and came across Indigenous uh, traineeships. The Indigenous traineeship was a 12 month period and I was lucky enough to get through my training. My family placed a high importance on our cultural identity but also on getting a good, good education. I was fortunate enough to be awarded the AIEF BHP Billiton Territory Scholarship. And I'm with the Tracks to Success traineeship. Corp Cooling helped me get to where I am today. I'm a train driver at BHP Billiton. It was my first ever job and I came through the BHP Billiton Foundations for Graduates program. I didn't think I'd actually be here, but I am, so at first it was a bit frightening. I'd obviously had days where I thought I couldn't do it or I can't do it. But as soon as I walked in on that first day, 
yeah, it was, yeah, all go. We feed off each other and give each other support. The company and the people that I've worked alongside in the company have been really supportive. We like to stick by each other. And I'm happy that I'm here. I just want to be really good at what I do. No other companies that I know of, you know, provide such a, you know, firm sort of framework or, um, you know, platform for you to project your career from. For me, I feel like it just provides maybe more a learning opportunity from which you can grow more from, and um, ultimately get to to where you want to be. To help Indigenous people that have never had the experience on a mine site before to give them the opportunity to get on their feet and to get out there and do what we do. It's, yeah, it's unbelievable. It's, it's a really rewarding, you know, achievement. I just want to be able to pass it down now to the next generation. What, all we're doing is providing an opportunity and these Indigenous people are taking that opportunity up and really pushing themselves to be successful employees in our business and contribute and add value to a really great company. And that creates a ripple effect. So um, those people become role models, they become leaders in their own families and communities and uh, that's really powerful work. The first day that I'm uh qualified to drive a train up, it'll be amazing. My son, he's 15 months old and he always points at the trains and it's just such an empowering feeling to turn around to him and say, that's what mummy drives. Yeah, I'd like to consider myself as a role model. There's a few girls that I went to school with who are coming through the program um, and I keep in contact with them and they're, they're pretty um, interested in pursuing a, you know, pursuing a career with BHP Billiton. I hope my story can inspire others to look for opportunities to fulfil university and tertiary educations and to go on and uh, find uh, meaningful employment. I'm, I'm starting to see now in the community, I'm, I'm looked at as a role model, always asking me, can you get me a job, can you get me a job? And I said, I can always help you get a job, but it's up to you to make that decision of you know, what you want to do, but I will support you. I feel like I have done really well in a sense of trying to show people that there's so much more out there than just the little town you live in and the school you go to and you know the few people that you know. There's so much more. I'm very proud of what I've done and you know I hope other people will at least see that. <laughs> I'm really passionate about the program and what it does for the community, what it does for the individuals, also what it does for BHP Billiton. And I just feel really lucky that I've been able to be a part of that. I did say that I'm going to be a CEO one day. That's my goal. Um, whether that's through the company that I start or whether BHP Building want to put me down that road, but that's where I want to go. Yeah, I want to wear the suit every day and make big decisions. And, and then I think I can be a role model for you know, my people, all people.